We are now joined by Mr. Shibulal. He is Chief Executive Officer of Infosys Technologies Limited and a speaker at this year's St. Gallen Symposium. Mr. Shibulal, thank you very much for granting us some of your time. You hosted a work session entitled The Changing Role of the CEO in the New World Order at the St. Gallen Symposium here this year. What exactly about the role of the CEO has changed? So, um, you know, I was um, telling in the work session that there are two uh, major phenomena which are impacting the role of the CEO. Number one is that we live in a uh, very uncertain world. We live in a world of contradictions. On one side, you have tremendous amount of opportunities. On the other side, you have various issues to be tackled, like poverty, unemployment, inclusivity, sustainability. So we live in a world of contradictions. Uh, that is number one. Number two, the role of the corporate are very different today than what it was in the past. Today, um, corporates have become the custodians of social wealth. They create employment, they create wealth, they create standard of living. So these two factors are definitely impacting the role of the CEO. And uh, I gave three uh, important um, aspects of the role of the CEO the, the, in the new world order. Number one is delivering performance performance to all the stakeholders. It is the, the investor, the employee, the client, the society, all of them simultaneously, that's number one. Number two is building trust. We live in a world where there's a crisis of trust and it is the role of the leader, role of the CEO to create trust. And number three is to uh, be the custodian of the innovation agenda for the organization. How do you create innovations? How do you create innovations for the corporation? How do you create new products and services? How do you always also create innovations which are relevant to the society? So two uh, main reasons, uncertain world and the changing role of the corporate. Three um, aspects, performance, trust and innovation. Being CEO of a globally operating company with over 145,000 employees in over 85 countries, what can we Europeans learn from Indian CEOs and business leaders? I think, um, you know, um, as I said, the world um, is undergoing um, a lot of changes. Today, uh, most people need to be global. I think if you want to be a leader um, in any corporate or any part of the world, you really need to have a global, global exposure. You need to have worked in various parts of the world. You need to be able to understand cultures. You need to be able to connect with people. I think that is an important learning uh, which I can share with because if you look at a company like Infosys, I think 95% of our revenue come from outside India. Right? So um, not only the CEO, anyone in the corporate, anyone in Infosys has to have, uh, uh, is dealing with the rest of the world dealing with different cultures. So uh, the global exposure is um, extremely, extremely important. Um, I think that is the one learning I would leave with. Okay. Forbes and Holt, a division of Credit Suisse, ranked Infosys number 15 among the world's most innovative companies in 2011. Looking into the future, which breakthrough innovations can be expected from Infosys within the next couple of years? So um, there are a lot of innovations which, have, which are coming out of the organization. Number one, uh, we launched a new innovation framework called Building Tomorrow's Enterprise in the last 12 months. We have chosen seven areas where we will create innovation, where we will invest, where we will file patents. Uh, one is digital consumer, second one is emerging markets, third one is sustainable tomorrow, fourth one is healthcare economy, fifth one is new commerce, Sixth is what we call pervasive computing and the last one is smarter organization. So we have chosen a framework, we have chosen areas under which we will create innovation. If you look at digital consumer, we just launched a, a product called Mobile Wallet. Uh, it's called Wallet Edge, that's the name of the product or the platform in India. It has been launched in the market along with Airtel and that's, that's out. Um, we, on last Monday, we launched a new platform called uh, uh, Brand Edge. That's another one of our platform. It is meant to um, look at social intelligence, digital marketing, those kinds of areas. So um, I see uh, different 
products and platforms coming out in these seven themes. Looking back at your life, what has been the biggest risk you have ever taken? I think there are a number of risks which I have taken. Um, I come from a part of India called Kerala. Uh, I grew up in Kerala. I did my first master's there. But I didn't confine myself to that state. I went to uh, Bombay to, and got employed. So that started my career. I got into a field, the computer science, which I had not been trained on. So I had to learn on the job and then, and then of course, uh, I travelled abroad. Then when Infosys started, I had just settled into a new job and actually starting to make some money. Gave up all that and uh, started on a completely new journey, believing that, you know, th there is a new set of opportunities. Uh, then every step of the way there has been uh, risk, but at the same time I think the, the rewards also has been uh, substantial uh, in, and I have been extremely, extremely lucky that all the, most of the risks I took paid off. Mr. Shibulal, thank you very much for that insights and for your time. Enjoy your stay here at the St. Gaon Symposium. Thank you.